Green Spot is one of my favorite Irish pot still whiskeys, which is why I'm so excited to try their Yellow Spot. Hey, come on. Let's do this. Ah. Welcome to Whiskey Riffs. I'm Kevin, and today I'm drinking a Irish single pot still whiskey from Mitchell & Son. It is Yellow Spot. I'm a huge fan of Green Spot. I've been drinking it for years. It's one of my favorite single pot still whiskeys, uh, and I really have waited way too long to buy this bottle and try one of the other variants. There's also a blue and a red spot, which I also have not tried. So. This is glorious. I can't wait to give it a try. And uh, let me go ahead and pour it right away. Why, why wait? Now, Yellow Spot Whiskey has been aged a full 12 years in uh, three different types of casks. A bourbon cask, a uh, sherry cask, and a Malaga wine cask. Now, the Malaga wine cask is uh, the sweetness part of it. Green Spot also has the bourbon casks and the sherry casks, but Malaga is unique to Yellow Spot, which is going to be interesting. I can't wait to try what that sweetness does to this flavor profile. Also, this whiskey is 12 years. Green Spot is not marked with an age statement. It's about a, 12, a, a 10 year old whiskey, but it's not labeled that way because there may be a few younger whiskeys in there. So they just left it off so they could have a more uh, broadly available uh, whiskey in their lineup. Yellow Spot is a little trickier to get. Every so often, I can see it out there for about 90 bucks. Uh, this was more in the $113, $114 range. I've seen it also for as low as $110 to $120. Mitchell & Sons started their whiskey making back in the 1800s. I think they started around 1805. By the 1900s, they had uh, used a, a whiskey profile, a whiskey recipe that they wanted, and they had another uh, distiller creating that and they were selling that out of their storefront and when they had different ages for the whiskey they would put a spot of paint on each cask to make sure that they knew which one they were selling to customers so uh, this is 12 green spot is around 10 years not labeled that way uh, their red spot which is even harder to get is a 15 year whiskey and has a, is another casking in there as well or different casking and the blue spot is a seven-year whiskey and they just reintroduced that and i haven't seen available yet but as soon as i get one i really want to try that also currently mitchell and son uses the uh, jameson middleton distillery as their base of operations for uh, creating and, and aging this whiskey so that massive operation down in uh, county cork uh, in ireland is a, a great distillery to go visit. Once they reopen, as of May 2021, there's still COVID restrictions and they're not open yet. But I'm hoping that within the next few months, we'll get back to the regular schedule of being able to visit distilleries and learning more about the process for them. I, I find so much good information on these whiskey tours and I really miss, for one thing, I just miss going to another country. Uh, the other part of it is I miss going to cool countries that have distilleries like Ireland and Scotland and even different parts of the US. I, I, there are distilleries here that I just haven't had a chance to visit. And it's been a year or so of you can't and I'm done with you can't. Let's go ahead and dig into this. I'm, I'm dying to find out what the flavors are like. When I first nose Green Spot, I always get smacked in the face with apple. And this is not Green Spot. This is much sweeter. In fact, if you want to hear a full review of Green Spot, I have a, an Irish pot still whiskey shootout video that I did a little while ago. Go ahead and watch that. I'll put a link below so you can uh, check that out and get the, get the different flavor notes and see how they match to what I'm going to be drinking here. So on the nose right away, I'm getting kind of cut grass, 
There's a definite sweetness there, but it's a, a spice sweetness. Lighter fruits like peaches and apricots. I'm not getting any apple notes like you do with Green Spot. I am getting a little bit of vanilla, tiny hint. There's a little bit of a berry note in there, or maybe it's cherries. Spicier on the taste than I thought. I wasn't expecting that with all the sweetness I got on the nose. The Malaga wine is a fortified wine from Spain, and it's definitely uh, driving a lot of the sweetness. And maybe it's also driving a little bit of the spice. I don't often drink fortified wine, so I don't have a lot of profile experience with those. Remember, tasting notes are not a uh, science. They are what comes to mind when you first taste or smell something. And that's all personal and all up to you. It's also limited by what you've tasted and smelled. If you don't have a reference to a taste or a smell, it's not gonna come out in tasting notes. I guess I gotta drink fortified wine. It's a little bit of honey there. Maybe a little of a, like a dark coffee roast taste to it. I don't get that in the nose. It's a nice long finish. This definitely lingers. There's an oiliness to it. And it really goes down well. It's only 92 proof, 46% uh, ABV, which, I mean, makes sense. You know, a lot of the single pot still Irish whiskeys are at this uh, alcohol level. Pot still distillation is a slow process. So that time it takes is certainly part of the uh, flavor enhancement. Uh, it's one of the reasons I like pot still whiskey. I like the, the adventure of the different levels of flavors. I like sitting with it and coming back and going, was that a little hint of cinnamon there? Definitely getting some cherries now on the nose. I'm really enjoying this. Um, it's so different than Green Spot. I am getting coffee notes. The more I taste this, the more it sits on my, on my palate. And that sweetness gives you that nice round notes that, uh, keep you coming back for one more sip. Yeah, this bottle's in danger of going pretty fast. I, I, for a while, the Green Spot bottles. In fact, that's a good idea. Why not pull out Green Spot and give that a try as well? The more the merrier, right? Yellow Spot, Green Spot. Yeah, right away, apple notes. Brighter, crisper fruits to me. And this has the sweeter, uh, darker notes, but still apricots and kind of a cherry note to it. Green spots, much lighter, much crisper. There's not as much sweetness there. It's almost like going from a, a lighter uh, Chardonnay or white wine to more of a dessert wine. It's kind of the difference for me. So conclusions, I definitely have easier access to green spot, which means it's one of my go-to whiskeys because I can get it. It's really hard to fall in love with a whiskey that you have more trouble getting. Uh, hopefully Yellow Spot's a little more available. When I was doing my research, Mitchell & Sons still has a wine and, and spirits shop in Dublin. And if you're around there, it's certainly easy to get any of the spot uh, expressions of whiskey. I'm not there. And so I'll have to rely on my online and local stores to keep this stuff in stock because I'm really enjoying it. And I think this is going to be one of my favorite whiskeys after I've spent a few evenings sipping on a dram of it. So if you like Irish pot still whiskey and if you haven't tried any of the spot whiskeys, I definitely say try Green Spot, give it a go. I think the price range is more in the 50 to $60 range, much more approachable. Um, if you like fortified wines, if you like that, that spicier, uh, sweeter notes, go for the yellow spot. Give that a try. It's going to be a little more pricey for you, but it's definitely not high priced. There's a lot more expensive whiskeys out there and you're getting a 12 year age statement. So that's a good deal. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, give me a like, hit subscribe, please. I'm still trying to grow that community. Uh, the subscribers have been really great. I've been getting a lot of good comments. Let me know in the comments what you have tried as far as any of the Mitchell and Son whiskeys have you tried the green spot yellow spot have you kept your hands on the red and maybe the blue i haven't yet i'm gonna work on those next and until our next video take care of yourself the people around you and cheers <laughs>